crafters and paper artisans it's Chandra with stocks and stuff I am here to share a project share that uh, a gift that I wanted to do for a work friend um, and she is Muslim and it is Ramadan and so I just wanted to give her a little gift for Ramadan and I fell in love with the alternate stamp and dies that they have for Ramadan so I needed a reason to buy them and I thought everything came out so pretty um, and I just kind of watched I didn't buy it all at once I just kind of watched for, for different pieces to be on sale um, just because she is my only Muslim friend and I don't know if, you know how much use I'll get out of these but I thought I'd do it anyway so I decided to make her some cards um, with the stamp and die set and so I made two Ramadan cards and I used that Joann's kind of fabric-y paper um, because it had the silver stars and blue is her the color that she likes and so I just stamped in silver and then this is one of the stamps from the collection and then um, and then I stamped, used two other ones inside from the collection. And then I used the, another piece of that. And this is also some stamps from the collection. And I just stamped and heat bossed right on there. And then um, I added some um, stickles and just a couple of um, enamel stars just to add to it. And then I stamped a different stamp inside. There's different sayings for all of these. I mean, for um, there's lots of sayings on the sentiments on the um, stamp collection. Actually, I bought both the Eid and the uh, Ramadan. And so then at the end is Eid. And so I made her a couple of Eid stamps. And again, I used one of those cloth um, papers from Joann's. And this is a die in the collection. It can be a shaker because there's a back in the, um, you see I did the one in the front. I just didn't do a shaker. Um, this is the circle that came out of here. So I thought I'd use it. And then I did different stickles in colors that are on the card. And then this I just thought was so pretty. Um, Eat Mubarak Rock in that, in that font. And so I used that one. And then I stamped on the inside and um, use a piece of that scrap and then this one I just had this scrap left in my stash for, it is a Joann's cloth paper but I didn't have any more of it um, and so I think I had made some other things with it uh, another project anyway I, I cut this die which is the E Mubarak I think it's, that's what the die is called and I added some sequins that I had in my stash that was a match um, I used this paper because I had cut this already just because I wanted to see what it looked like and so it matched and then um, wishing you a very happy Eid and then I just did the um, use some shapes and some embossed I had some embossed foil paper that was you know pre embossed and just added that inside and so I made this card box for her. I've made this box before in different ways. And so I um, I think it's Extraordinary Chaos, but I don't want to misquote. So I will put where I got the alphabet from. I'll um, link that and hopefully I'll remember to add it to this video when I edit. This again is a different one of those um, cloths from Joann's. And um, I did some shimmery uh, this is basil, I think, and I did that covering, and then I um, had this paper in my stash as well. I'm not sure what it is, and I just did that on the sides, and um, and then I just did around the back the gold Dollar Tree bling because the way the box opens, you know, you can't put it on the inside because it wouldn't be able to close. Now, I made the pouch and then I did the mosaic here as well and covered that um, with that paper. And that's where I'm going to put the cards. And I want to make sure I put the Ramadan in the front and the Eid in the back. And so my cards are going to fit in here. Whew, I was hoping that would be a good fit. I made that pouch 
um, well, I've kind of estimated about how many cards would fit in it. And then this time, I didn't just do a flat envelope um, because I have made this before with just a flat envelope. I actually did a box envelope so that I could get um, envelopes in there. I didn't do any fancy envelopes. I just did basic. And so, um, and then I'm going to just put a piece of Velcro there. I'm, I was debating whether I was going to put something there or leave it white. Um, I'm not sure. I might just leave it. And so that's the box. And I should have mentioned that um, that's her initial on the front of her first name. And, um, and then um, other crafters had um, had some... Uh, what do I want to say? Just decorative things. I Miss mean, Mandy had some uh, extraordinary chaos, and I believe one other crafter. So I kind of did some things, and I I will go back and tell you who who's who's was who's in case you're interested. So this was a mandala, and I ended up making it like a something she could hang, like an ornament. I don't know what her household decorations are for right now. But I wanted to make it. And the tip she used was, I'm going to clean that up again. I'm seeing some glue spots. The, the tip she used was to do yellow in the for the lights because it is reminiscent of sunset. And I like that idea, so I did that. And then I did it again on this one. And I just thought, because it is a big celebration at the end, and I thought that would be nice to... Um, you know, just kind of display somewhere. Uh, she could put it on one of those little mini easels. I thought about doing some beading, and I still may, you know, do some beading around the moon. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. So I just wanted to share, really, and show you what I, I made for Ramadan. Um, so often, you know, we do we do so many Christian holidays and, and um American holidays as well and so I wanted to do something different. You've seen me make gifts for Jewish co-workers and so I'm being inclusive and I loved how everything came out. Uh, feel free to leave your comments in the in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.